Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Another birthday doodle type thing where Pandora NYC One actually had a birthday over the weekend, and I just kept falling asleep and was unable to make a drawing. So, let's see what we can do. I think it's gonna be more like a a happy birthday right across here since I have to stop at the start at the front of the picture and work my way back. So we'll have this little feller or fellow at or non-gendered because it's a greebly, really. But this greebly is flying through the air somehow magically. Or standing, but we'll no, we'll make it flying. Kind of. We're gonna have to throw some some sort of motion lines onto here to give the illusion of flight here, since I didn't plan this out very well now, did I? But then that's how I do them all. We'll even put a sound effect to the side. Swung. That's that's a, evidently the sound effect when you go flying into the air. And then a rock formation here, which no one has ever seen in the real world because this sort of thing doesn't occur in the real world. But still, it's all right because it's a drawing and it's not the real world. And this is several layers worth of background on, on top of the foreground here. I don't know if that's working, but still there's a flying Greedley type fellow here. Or again, non-gendered Greedley type individual. I don't think I've got room for the other type of cave mouth that I do where it's looks literally like a cave mouth. But that's okay. I mean, every picture is different. You don't know how it's going to turn out until you actually turn it out. I rarely know what I'm going to be doing with any of my pictures until I actually do them. Let's see. I usually put the monolith off to the left, so hey, let's put a monolith off here to the right. And then we'll put these little flashy things in there and give it some texturizing. And it's kind of off to the side, but that's okay. And then the weird sort of multi-shaped sun-like object with the sky is always odd in these places. I don't know why. It makes my life so much more difficult because I've got to try and shade all of these different areas. And you try coming up with four different shading techniques that's fast, looks different, and looks fascinating all at the same time. So I've got to just fake it as best I can real quick here. Like here, we'll just actually draw little circles, like little bubbles, like this section of space is carbonated. Because, you know, space has car, 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 yeah, you know, it's carbonated. Space is not carbonated. Somehow I think you know this, though. Yeah, I'm doing four lines on these ones, but... I don't know why, so I'll just jump back to three to make my life easier. I would be doing like the four, not four, there's a different type of shading technique where you do cross hatching, but that really takes a lot of time. So let's just pretend I'm actually spending and expending some effort on this, because I am, it's just they're difficult to do. So let's see, just over here in this direction as well, we're going to put a flying pancake. 
Boom. So here we go. It is 2018. Pandora NYC1. So it was an experiment. I don't know if it worked all that well. Hopefully it's it's a nice picture. Hopefully you enjoy it. I had fun drawing it. Happy birthday, definitely. Again, sorry I was late, but happy birthday. And I hope you have a very, very good day. Again, sorry I'm late though. I mean, it's a belated happy birthday, but it is a happy birthday. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you all on the flip side, my friend. And that is a very good thing.